What's going on, everyone? It's time to do the final film of the Underworld franchise, Underworld Blood Wars. It was released by Screen Gems January 6, 2017. It was produced by Tim Rosenberg, Gary Zeninski, Len Wiseman, and Richard Wright, and David Keane. It was written by Corey Goodman and directed by Anna po Potter? Potter? Yeah, something like that. Uh, who else did Low? Uh, White House Down, Anonymous, and Coronado. Is that a budget of $35 million and it made $81.1 million? Now, this is the final chapter of Underworld. So, uh, was it epic? Absolutely not. Um, was it pretty boring and shit? Yes. <laughs> Let's get to it. Um, yeah, so what's her face um, is back and they are, I mean, her and the new. The guy that she met in the last movie is actually um, working together to uh, fight off this evil vampire dude who's trying, who has the blood of Adam, the guy uh, that the original um, half like and half vampire. And uh, yeah, so they ha they've been drinking his blood and giving them stronger powers to go and fight in this under in the vampire like in wars and uh yeah so it's up to them to figure out where they're getting it and how much is left and where it's going also they do have the big a little bigger stronger version of them fighting as well so they have to go and and this and also try to see where the girl from the original or from the last film is and stuff so yeah, they basically just go and fight pointless wars. You know, overall, I thought this film was really stupid and dumb and terrible for the most part. The acting's not that great in this, to be honest. Uh, the story is very stupid and boring. And overall, I just thought it was not did not feel like an Underworld movie at all. You see, the like is very sparsely. Now, when they do come and kill, they have some pretty gnarly kills. I give it that. That looks good. Like, the makeup and gore obviously looks good and stuff. Um, and the set design looks okay. The music doesn't really complement the film or anything or do anything. It just feels out of place. And uh, overall, I just thought the whole like cinematography was just a standard TV movie feel to it. Where this, uh, for this being like uh, another big chapter it was very let down there's so much exposition in this film that did not need to be in it and uh you could have built like a bigger epic battle but no we had to sit through people talking about recapping the whole franchise and all this nonsense and um when you want to go see something called blood wars you're expecting a war not a five minute little fight scene and that is it and, uh, yeah, when they drink the blood and stuff, it was kind of hokey and dumb. And overall, like, they have this huge goblet, and she drinks, like, a bit and just drops it, the rest. And it's just, like, why? <laughs> like, you should have just chugged it. Like, come on. Make it interesting, not boring. This is basically on the verge of twilight. <laughs> like, it was horrible. <laughs> so I had to sit through and stuff. Um, definitely really tame. And overall, it just wasn't that good at all. They also, for some reason, mummified the, the, some of the vampires and stuff, which, for, which had no real reason for it. <laughs> it's just something different, I guess. And then they have uh, a cameo appearance of the girl from The Awakening just to cap off the movie for the whole point of them trying to find it. And then they find her and it's credits. So what was the point of the whole movie? Absolutely nothing. Overall, this is definitely the worst one in the franchise and the one I didn't like pretty much at all. So um, now, so, but, yeah, I covered most of it. I'll probably give this one a one and a half just to be generous. So yeah, definitely the worst one out there by far. <laughs> and uh, yeah, they, they kind of just go in a, in a steady slope down, which is uh, usually it's like one or two, that peak that's a little better in films like this. But yeah, overall... It's just a steady slope down from the first one to the last one. But, yeah. Yeah, and that's what I thought about Blood, Underworld Blood Wars. Uh, yeah, if you want to check it out, I'm not sure where it's if it's streaming anywhere or anything, but I'll link the trailer down below so you can check that out. Also, make sure you check out my Instagram. So I was supposed to put the films I'm going to review in the future on my stories. I had a film time hashtag. I'm going to film and hashtag so you're aware of it. 
Follow us on my letterbox down below. Do your PV views. That's where I post my first star rating. After watching the films and my toys down below. Reviews on this code Derek. So follow me on those platforms. Stay loop this channel. Like this video. Share it to more people wherever it comes. Air pin into the film down below if you have any. And if you have any films or film franchises in any genre and on any streaming service, then you want to hear my opinions on the future. Comment those down below too. I'll try my best to get them as soon as I can and if I can find them. And, uh, yeah. Make sure. You subscribe. Hopefully, we'll find some weird, obscure, and odd that you probably never thought checking out together. And also, so you my friends on popular films that have come out, classic films, and reviews on other things as, as well. And make sure you ring that bell because, well, tomorrow's Halloween. So, I'm going to make sure I get my Freddy vs. Jason review out for that. So, make sure you tune in for that. Might as well talk about the legends fighting each other and what I thought of that film. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and since we're on the terms of wars right now and do that so make sure you check that out when it comes out tomorrow and uh yeah make sure you ring that bell and uh yeah watch out for all those lichens and vampires somehow making amends and fighting and uh just being stupid and forging into twilight territory and i guess i'll see you all in the next one so until then cheers <laughs>